What's one of the best ways to restore a steel frame two-stroke dirt bike? A freshly powder coated frame. Let's dive in. What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Greg Hitchko and for those of you who are not familiar with me, my channel specializes in dirt bike builds, product reviews, and moto how-tos, but in this video specifically, we're going to be talking about one of the best ways to restore an old steel frame two-stroke dirt bike, and that is through powder coating the frame. I'm excited to bring you this content today because I've got two bikes from my throwback two-stroke garage build shootout that I'm doing, this 07 KX250 and this 06 RM250 steel frame bikes that I need to get powder coated so they can look fresh and brand new again. It really sets the bike apart. So in terms of getting these powder coated, I don't have a setup in my garage currently. I don't have a gun, I don't have an oven, or just a space to powder coat myself. I'd love to learn someday, but I'm really excited to be working with a local company called Armor Coatings right here in Salt Lake City. Checking out their Instagram, they have a whole slew of parts and colors that they use and special finishes, which may be included on either the KX or Suzuki frame or both, but that's gonna be a surprise for you guys at the end of the video. I'm not gonna let that little secret out just yet. So checking out the frames, the KX is gonna be completely reshot with a similar Kawasaki color. This has been on my bike for the past year and you can kind of see on the sides here where, where the coating from the last year rubbed off where the boots are. I did have a skid plate on here. Here's some more spots underneath the frame. So the whole frame just needs to be reshot and freshened up. Coming over the Suzuki frame now, kind of a similar situation as the Kawasaki. So this bike was stored outside and that's why you see the rust on the steel frame here. We've got some rust down here from where the foot pegs are and then underneath as well as you can see is just completely hammered so getting this freshly powder coated is going to be a game changer the down tube really isn't that bad the side rails are super similar to that other side but in terms of color i'm going to talk with the guys at armored coatings maybe this stays gray maybe this goes black i'm going to be getting these details all figured out once i talk to the guys there at the shop all right guys, I just got all the frames dropped off at Armor Coatings here in Salt Lake City. I am super excited about all the colors I chose and picked out. I cannot wait for you guys to see them, so stay tuned when I come back pick them up it's gonna be exciting all right guys so we are back in the garage it's been about a couple weeks and the frames are back from being powder coated by armor coatings here in Salt Lake City now you might have seen my thumbnail I went ahead and did a little bit extra and got the hubs on the Honda Suzuki and Yamaha all powder coated as well probably could have got them Sarah coated but I really like the way the powder coating looks on these hubs now I didn't go ahead and get the Kawasaki hubs powder coated because they have that midnight bronze coating on them already and still looks great but enough of me blabbering guys let's turn this camera around and check out what the guys at armor coatings did to these frames and hubs you guys are gonna freak all right there they are if you guys follow me on Instagram you might have already seen the preview post that I posted about these but these things are looking insane so starting with this Kawasaki frame yes I'm doing a 2005 James Stewart KX 250 themed bike yes that has a silver frame but you guys voted on it on Instagram and you guys want to see the green frame continue so this is kiwi green from prismatic powders and the guys at armor coatings freshen this thing up i only had 25 hours on the chevy trucks kawasaki build but i mean the thing got pretty beat up pretty quickly so i needed this thing to get refreshed and these guys absolutely crushed it Next up is this 2006 RM250 frame, and I wanted to do something special with the guys at Armor Coating. I didn't want to do just a plain gloss black. So what we did, as you can probably already tell, and you can really tell in this down tube, is that we added some gold flake in here. So the color combo itself is gloss black with Adam's gold flake in it. And in the sun, this thing is going to look so good. We've got the side rails of the frame and back here with the linkage mounts, man, this frame was so dirty and nasty and putting this bike back together is gonna be so fun. As I progress with this project, I really think this RM is gonna be my favorite bike of the build and just seeing this Adam's Gold Flake in this black gloss powder coat by Armor Coatings, I really couldn't be more excited. Let's check out the hubs next on the Honda. So on that Jeremy McGrath bike from 2005, red hubs i had to go with that to stick with the theme so this color here is called lollipop red and it's a three-stage coating and i was a little worried about the spokes being able to go back through the spoke holes of this hub because it gets a little bit of a thicker powder that lays on there but i tested the spokes when i got them home and they fit perfectly so these lollipop red hubs along with silver rims are going to look sweet moving along we've got the rm250 hub so this rear hub is a bronze chrome color and then the front hub is a silver ore. And what was cool about working with the guys at Armor Coatings is that they had binders and binders of colors to try to match the look that I was going for. So if you guys have seen Ricky Carmichael's 05 bike and are wondering why the heck I did two different color hubs, 
Check out some pictures and do some research on that Makita Suzuki because they actually do have two different color hubs on his bike. So I thought it would be cool to bring that to this build. You can just really see that silver ore popping in that color. And once the bike is completely together, I think I'm really gonna like that two-tone hub color and look that we got going on here. And then finally for the YZ250, we've got these hub powder coated a Montana Gold it's called. Again, that's Montana Gold. So inside where it's not as bright and sunny, it's looking a little bit darker, but once you get this outside in the sun, it really lightens up and becomes more of this champagne type color. And that's what I was really going for. So if you Google some pictures of Chad Reed's YZ250 from this era, you're gonna notice that subtle kind of light gold color that we got going on here. And it's just gonna be perfect once I get this bike all together and out in the sun. If you guys are a big fan of the powder coating by Armor Coatings, go ahead, punch that like button, leave a comment below, let me know what you guys think, because I really do value your opinions, and make sure to comment on every single comment on there, and it's awesome that you guys are a part of this journey with me as well. As for the powder coating itself, if you guys need any work done, I highly recommend Armor Coatings, where I got all that work done. They were really easy to work with, I brought my stuff in, I had some pictures of what I wanted and what color ideas I had in my mind, they sat down with me, helped me pick out my colors, they gave me suggestions on what to do, what not to do, and they also made it clear that if I powder coat hubs, the spokes might be a little bit difficult to get through, which was really cool about how honest they were. At the end, it was my gamble to go with that. Those red lollipop hubs, like I said, those were a three-stage coating. And I got home and the spokes went through just fine, so super pumped on that. All these bikes for the Throwback Two-Stroke Garage Build Shootout Project are so close to being finished. I'm working my butt off over here every single day to get them done for you guys. I really want them done because I really want to ride them, but I also want you guys to see them and know the differences between the model. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned to the channel because I've got suspension rebuilds, fork and shock coming engine rebuilds, as well as rebuilding the bikes themselves. Thank you again to Arbor Coatings for wanting to be a part of the project. They absolutely killed it like you guys saw, and I couldn't be more excited to start getting these bikes together. As always, ride hard, be safe, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.